boy, that's good coffee. You mean good coffo? Good coffo. I call. Why did I call it coffo? Well, now that's its name now. You can't see it, folks, at home. But Matt has decided to direct a spotlight towards the back of my neck for mood. Just so we have, it's it's a nice light. Hey, we got we did these. We looked all at all these. Yes. it's a nice light. It's it's calming. So we're in the church. It's uh, singeing everything in my body. This is the last area, yeah. It's half of the last area, I believe. I said maybe thirty seconds ago. Oh shit! <laughs> did you not know that? No, I mean I figured, but. <laughs> Now she looks like she belongs in a jewelry box. She's got little slip feet. Yeah, like they 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 could sell a Silent Hill three like uh, jewelry box, and she would you, be inside. Silent Hill one, two, and three jewelry box uh, uh, music box would be totally appropriate. Oh, it totally would. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, blood shoots out. You know what? An evil within. Yeah. Uh, music box not as not as appropriate. No. So she's looking at something here, but I assume it's, it's the, the safe, safe point. thing. Yeah, All it's right. the safe point. So uh, let's check. Let's check. Oh, you, okay. You don't have. You, hey, asshole. Let's just, you know. Don't maybe have a map right of this area. Maybe it's right here. Maybe it's right here. I don't know. We'll it's, see. It's right here. It is? Yeah. Ah. Uh, no, I lied. It's right there. <laughs> it looks like it could be. I it. got you. I got you. Yeah, just like that fucking hanging Danny body got me. So this is the chapel. Be- so this is the best map. This this takes. Uh, do you remember in Silent Hill 2 when we were going through Pyramid Head's gotcha, weird man. nightmare area? That none of the walls made any sense, and and James would be filling in the map as we went. Huh. This is the the next step of that. Yeah, I assume this is the map that like Heather wrote. Yes, as a baby. She, ah, as a little baby. As a that young can write baby. Maps. Confessional rocket confessional. Oh, you definitely want to check that other door though. Okay. That other door has very open. Is it's big open? Very big open. Okay. Dear God, please forgive me. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly. And with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please, also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God. I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, forgive me. Oh, okay. What? Wasn't it's, it, it's super weird. Wasn't it either Downpour or Homecoming who literally had, like, I'm Forgive not, Me or, like, yeah, was, something? Yeah, it was an identical scene featuring Alex's father. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Alex forgiving his dad for doing whatever. Yeah, for beating him up and shit. But. Uh, so I'm going to assume this is, like, the Heather's mom? It's a non-specific person. Yeah. Like at the beginning, it sounds like Dahlia or whatever, but the 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 theming of revenge and all that. It's it's not a hundred percent clear. It's but it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't yeah, matter who yeah, it actually yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, you know what? Like it, it's it it's it's whether or not 
<laughs> Heather has the capacity to forgive. To forgive. So, so if Heather is to say, I forgive you, she'll be like, what? You're not the pastor. That's a different. Oh, and she bursts through the wall. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what's going to happen you know, if you say okay. I forgive you. I'll, I'll say I forgive you. Why oh. not? Yeah. Like, not much that not much going on there except for her facial features, which are literally running the gamut of like yeah. oh yeah, my stuff too. There's nothing more to be said. said. Yeah, it's like that scene is the cult scriptures don't look like. Like SH two usually has the, the, the moratorium on like fancy emotion shit, but I really like that scene a lot. Yeah, I'll no, try and good. you know I'm gonna try and trip the door. That's the door I came in through. No, no, I mean the one that she the lady was in. I'm not sure if it's locked. It, the one that the lady. She was may in? have dropped a submachine gun. Oh, oh, you mean here? Oh, okay. So yeah, okay, she's, she may she, have dropped the submachine gun that I have. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, but, okay. You know, unfortunately. Yeah. Just in case. Oh, I was right too. You were very right. Now check your map. The map's filling in as you play it. That's fine. Okay. With crims. So there's like two doors down here. There sure are. So that's oh. weird. Even weird. though there's no enemies, your radio's going off. May maybe I've increased its range with a range extender. It's locked. That would actually be like the worst upgrade conceivable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, uh, oh, great. Now I can feel all the enemies through every wall. How mm, useful. So if it's locked and there's an actual lock, I assume we're going to come back. Unlock there. it, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. Um, okay, what's what you got? That's Nothing? why your radio's going off. Because there's just general shit. So yeah. this is this is a really important moment that's mirrored in Silent Hill 1. Mm. In Silent Hill 1, Harry makes a very big distinction between him passing out and ending up in the other world or traveling through a, a corridor and switching over to a, a mirror version. Yeah. And at one point, the ground literally morphing into the other world. Here, you're not causing a transformation effect. You're yeah, not blacking yeah, yeah, yeah. out. It's, it's just, just there. Yeah, it's just... Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I don't think I... Get that note. Where? On the... On the oh, damn. It's too faint. You'll never get it. Whoa. Okay, then this is on the other side, yeah. Sure okay. is. Okay. And That's if you check your map, it'll keep filling in, uh, basically every time you go through a Okay, an so, area. so, one, two, three. I like to think that... Oh, what the fuck's she looking at? Oh! Uh, some type of mad tumor. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I hoped that door was locked so that you would get fucking punk trolled. I did not get punk trolled today. Never. <laughs> Except for Danny the body. <laughs> what was that? Check the floor. That's weird. And cool. Yep. Well, not, nothing special. What? Nothing to care about. Something behind this something. picture, though. Girls cries and fences disappeared beyond it, after all. Uh, shouldn't I need, like, shouldn't Heather be like, oh, I can't, just can't move it without... I, I mm. need the painting mover. Yeah, oh, this is my full extension. I can't. <laughs> I can't. And she moved it with no problem. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, what else we got? Well, there's, there's let's try, some let's stuff. Try there's that some door stuff down there because that's definitely pro progression. There's something door. weird about this area that I really Why like. Why is it kind of like a hospital, too? It's got the little Alessa. ID bags. Ah, of course. Alessa, what like, Alessa? Alessa, like, forms hospital Shit. ideology around her. 
This fucking place. Look at that fucking place. Whoa. Okay, I thought it was a cutscene for a second. Is, this is that a save point? Yes, yes it is. That's yeah. crazy. What a cool fucking save point, right? Man, if I ever want to save any point in my life, it would be on that thing. I feel like it would be really powerful. Like, man, I can make some real bad decisions if I use this thing. St. Jennifer, unwavering faith under death blade. That's awesome. While you were going to church, I was unwavering in death blade. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Yeah, but unlike the other nightmare areas, this one's really well lit comparatively. Yeah, you're right. St. Nicholas, miraculous hands, a doctor of God. That's okay. Hey, even an evil doctor, as long as he's good at being a doctor, is okay. Yeah. Dr. Nick Riviera. Saint Alessa, Alessa, mother of God and daughter of God. Confusing, but fine. Honestly, you ever talk to a Catholic about the Trinity? Not today. It's fucking confusing. Mm. Okay, so God fucked himself and then made him own his own self as a baby, but he was a ghost. I, that's it's, pretty, that's, it's, it's confusing. It's, it's confusing and a little baller. Yeah. I'm like, gonna, I'm no gonna one's, fuck myself no and be my own dad. No one's good enough for me. So the only one Yo, that, that is... That, that would be accurate. That would be me. Even if you're God, I mean, nobody's yeah, good yeah. enough for you. Unless you're Zeus. Then anything's good enough for well, you. Well, just God fucking... What happened to the... What the fuck? Liam. No, not Liam. He's in the vents. It's your boy Valtiel. Oh, of course. So does he actually? Oh, well, I won't even ask. But I was gonna say, like, does he actually do anything? Yes. Okay. But we probably won't see it, so I'll explain it to you anyway. In certain areas and under certain circumstances, uh, if if you die as Heather, there is unique death animations in which he after her out. body is dragged away by Voltiel afterwards. That's cool. And I guess that's implied he's resetting the universe or whatever. Hmm. Since I only ever died on that stupid cutscene tentacle. Yeah, you're really going to hit the fucking map in here. Because you're in Confuso land right now. Oh, there's like a shitload of doors. There's a shitload of doors. Ooh. That's missionary, by the way. I was about to say, why is he here? Oh, it's like a boss recolor? No. Like in... Like in Streets of Rage or Final Fight? Not quite. Or more like Streets of Rage. When we make a little progress, I'll go a little bit into Oh, is that. it? So this isn't a missionary? It's like Reverse Cowgirl or it's like... Yeah, that's the Reverse like Cowgirl 69. monster. Yeah. That's, that's what's happening. Why not? Yeah. I mean, there's... To be fair, there's way less sexual stuff in this game than there is in Silent Hill. Yeah, Hunter. there's more pregnancy stuff in this one. Yeah, that's not really sexual. And, and like, you know... Heather's well, no, not not in this context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually divine sexual. Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sexual it, you're all right, healing. These... All right. By the way, when I got that feeling, when I need sexual, sexual healing. healing. Sexual. These books look like healing. real mind benders. Doctor Mindbender. Couple notes. I'll read them. The chapel in the nightmare world has completely nonsense geography and extends infinitely downwards. That's fine. But this library is totally normal. Terat was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. I actually really like the tarot. Each card numbered 0 through 21 has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, uh, stands will appear. For example, the first card, the magician... Signifies <laughs> fire powers. <laughs> Wisdom, beginnings, and birds... Or destruction and fraud. The second or card, uh, alternatively, uh, uh, you know, fucking your teacher. That, yeah. In P three, that's the that's the si that's the magician card side quest. It's this. It's your buddy Man. Kenji, and he wants to slam his teacher. And then if you pick in P three P, where you pick the the girl protagonist, he's he is slamming his teacher. <laughs> so Japan really likes the the tarot. The high priestess uh, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, and. Or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardner deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardner deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted on otherworldly transcendental, I love the word transcendental, mm -hmm. existence, i.e. the big cheese. Yeah, because like uh, the, the tarot is based purely on like the life of a person. No. Books look like it's not. It, it has. It has very little to do with anything religious. There's a tarot. You got the moon. 
Moon symbolizes mystery. What? What just happened? Hiya, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. Wouldn't be... convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> Don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. And, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? They look like monsters to you? <gasps> oh no. Don't worry. It's just a joke. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it! You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this. He's such the fucking slime ball. I'm getting confused. All right, so here's the here's the here's the point. <sighs> when Silent Hill Two came out, it was pretty obvious the perspective was altered for people in Silent Hill. Yeah. But what really kicked off the what the fuck are people even seeing mentality in the series and people's analysis of it is Vincent saying they look like monsters. But he to just you. said it's a joke. It, or I maybe, don't. I don't, don't believe him. Yeah. Okay. And the fact that you you pop a monster called missionary immediately before entering this room, mm. I'm pretty sure the missionary enemies are just people. Okay, I can see that. Maybe they're divinely enhanced or fucking whatever. But 
What a mouthful. In Silent Hill's Ancient Gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. <laughs> Jesus, why don't you take this? All right, go for it. There's no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names of and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There's also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with the demon's name. Of course, this was not done by, deli- by believers, but by their opponents. Okay. That basically explains, listen, the, the Silent Hill religion, the cult, is based off of an ancient, like, sh- uh, kind of like shamanic or, or native religion. Sure. In that, like, America oh, has. The blade. And that's something that, like, a lot of things have. Like, America had old gods. Cool like, ones. And they were around. They're awesome. And when the Puritans showed up, they just slapped their names on it. Yeah. And just kind of made well, it a like, little. A like little, a lot of religions did, where they're like, ah, this thing's too popular. Let's just re let's just rename this yeah. shit, so it could be a smooth. Jesus transition. was totally born on December twenty fifth. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Uh, so that's why it it's like it looks really Catholic, basically. Uh, whereas like it's uh, it has nothing to do with that at all. It's just bullshit they threw onto it to make it sound nicer. Fair enough. So you got a book. You had some tarot cards. Oh, let me ex- let me examine the book. Yeah. Forgot. It's uh, Silent Hill Gods and Demons by uh, Otherworldly a Life. big old book <laughs> I got from Vincent in the I Archive. I understand sometimes yeah. how Heather describes things. Yeah, she's a teenager, man. Uh, after you. Yeah. yeah. The magic square with strong, protective, and dispelling properties is called the Varun uh, uh, Seven Crest or the Seal of the Metatron. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster, as it is also difficult to control. It is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metatron, after the uh, Decepticon, also known as the Agent of God. Or the Voice of God in some cases. Sure. It was, uh, you remember in fucking Dogma? When it was, (laughs) uh, when it was played, uh, who the- (gasps) Oh, hey. Played by that guy. Was it Alan Rickman? In Dogma? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And he's like, listen, bro. If God talks, people's heads just fucking explode. explode. It's rough. It sucks shit. This, oh, shit. I was like, this is probably doesn't move. Right? So he had to make me in order to just chat with people. It sucks. It's really annoying. It's super annoying. Oh. Look at those doors. Many, many big doors. Big doors. Oh, fuck. You got it right. Yeah, so Silent Hill's design, I'm pretty sure this is unintentional, but it causes a situation in which you're disappointed when a door opens. Well, the first one, kind of, in a way. Okay. Because you want you want that map to be clean. Yeah, let's try here. Clean like, I'm going to freak out if this opens. Guess, ah! what, guess what? It opens. I like that. They're all open down here. Oh. Yeah, it's fucking great in here. This is a kennel that got, like, retrofit into this a This is a body room. It's where we put the bodies. Doors open inside. There's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe. No, no they're definitely dead. Nah, they're, they're, definitely. they're dead. I mean, come on. Very dead. Why would I find anything spooky? Oh, she's looking at she's something. Looking at, oh, a tarot. <laughs> ha, hangman. Of course. We're gonna get the fool, maybe? Nah, uh, maybe. Ooh. What do you have? You have the moon, the hanged man, and uh, the high priestess. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, let me check. Hangman, moon, moon. Eye, eye of the night. night. Yeah, so that that, that would be one of the divine ones because that's not oh. a real tarot card. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is this, is this even real? It's it's labeled it's this. labeled twenty two, which should be the world. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it's uh, too powerful. But you know, okay, you can't beat the world. Here. You can't. You you can try certainly. You get a fucking tarot card that's just Killer Queen. <laughs> King Crimson. <sighs> now I have to edit the video to be confusing. Thanks for mentioning Kim Crimson. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, random. Not quite. His room is this. What's this shit? I believe oh, this is Alessa's room. And there's something on the... There's a book on there. Yeah, no, I see. Okay, it's just a little side. What? 
can open it. But yeah, the the chapel's pretty far gone. This room looks just like Dad's. It's more than just a resemblance. Dad's not sleeping in the bed though. He'd leave a lot more blood. Many more bloods. Can I? Musty diary. Ah, there you go. Let's read it. Let's read it, shall we? I will read it. This writing. This is Dad's diary. Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that girl is the reincarnation of Alessa. <laughs> I don't want to worry about it that much right now. That's all forgiven. You were on love, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Wait, now what? Cheryl is Alessa again. Okay. Uh, no matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her as only a replacement for my lost Cheryl. Okay. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. I momentarily forgot who Cheryl was. Cheryl was, was Harry Mason's Original daughter. actual daughter. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace one a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. That would be okay. Harry's uh, wife. wife. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nothing happens when I try and turn the TV <laughs> I'd love, or VCR. I'd love for her to turn it on. And it's famous C. Famous yeah. Claudia. Yeah. You, you saw me. that? You saw that someone made the game. I sure fucking did. <laughs> it was good I stuff. I sure did. Good stuff. Yo, it's famous Claudia out here. Do you want to get famous in the other world? I got connects. That, I'm going to bring the hippest, freshest old god back. That's 423 Get Fame. Famous. For your girl Claudia. Get silent. All right. Is this, I guess that's it for this room? I believe it is. Okay. Uh, studying the blade. Okay, I'll have a, have a oh, oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, this place is starting to fill up with missionaries. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to go Those back. are the worst drawn people I've ever seen in my entire fucking They're life. They're just bugs. They're just bugs. Like, fucking look at people. No. They don't look like that, child. While you were learning how to draw, Heather was studying the blade. <laughs> I also really We gotta turn that into a shirt. We gotta turn that into a fucking I, shirt. I, that, that, Wait, don't use the elevator. Yeah, I know, I know, sorry. Um, I, I, I forgot about the other thing, which is someone walks in on Heather. And she's like just doing yeah in the mirror. Oh, that door doesn't even like no. activate. No. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 good stuff. Yeah. What the fuck? This is the best room ever. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Brown, yeah, the, your brown. your your panic button should in fact be the map button. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, so the, the fucking area is oh. taken on like Fuck, fuck, oh shit, fuck, oh fuck shit, oh god This is as bad as it could get, really No, no, that's fine If that door didn't unlock, I was gonna laugh super well, hard Well, that's the only logical place Oh, uh, actually, no, fuck it, it could have been locked, I don't know <laughs> Also, know? the layout here doesn't need to make sense, oh, remember? Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, fair enough, I should remember that that out here doesn't need to make I sense. Should, for I should shit. reload my gun blade. Hell, even the even the way monsters are are triggering your radio doesn't have to make sense. God, what's this room now? Ooh. Oh, what? Uh. Oh, it's just a closer. It's just multiple closers. <laughs> Mandarins, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's the door over there. That room, fuck that thing. That's just oh yeah, no, that's friendly. Why would you even? Uh, well, I guess for ranking and stuff. Why would you even kill those things? For Unless there's something for ranking. For <laughs> is it happening again? It's happening again. Am I missing it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. This thing's cool. Yeah. I like to think of this as like Alessa in the past. Yeah. I'm sure this is a great room. Yeah, lots of great memories stored within. You wanna hit the 
that map for a second. Yeah, All right. Yeah, finish exploring down that hallway, I guess. Before I go in here, you Yeah, mean? I think there might be ammo in the wheelchair or some shit. Oh. oh no, it's completely sealed it's off. The hooks and, and there's Volteal yeah, on the right wall. At the back there. Turn, hey. in, turn in the crank, and if you hit L2 and point up, see that he's choking two ladies. That are wearing red dresses, which yeah. is the intro thing. Yep. Cool. He's I working hard, though. I like the sim symbol the symbolism of, like, Volteal turning cranks and shit all the time, because the Nightmare World always has a weird mechanical bent. Mm, yeah. And, like, it's kind of- I guess it's kind of implied the Vault Heel's, like, pulling the strings behind that shit. Yeah, he's the she -bee. He's cool. Um, I would like him to say something like an animal says in the Flintstones, like, Ah, it's a living! Yeah. Vault Heel, you look fucking tired. Eh. Uh, come on, man. No one's gonna turn this crank for eternity if I don't do it. Yeah. This crank's not gonna turn itself. And then the- the- the women that are getting hanged are like, yeah! Alright, let him do his business. Let him do it. What's Fuck that? off. Oh. 